delicious. It is good. Uh, Stephen, joining me now from uh, Stages of Recovery. Yes, thank you so much for having me. Well, thank you for coming. I actually met him at Blastoff. I think that's awesome. That's right. Blastoff bringing us together. Let's talk about what you guys do. So Stages of Recovery is a joint commission accredited transitional housing and intensive outpatient program. That's a lot of words for we help people that suffer from substance abuse and mental health disorders here in Central Texas. And you've got an amazing story because this started in Lubbock, right? It's just now moved to Waco. My old yes. stomping grounds. Oh. Your old stomping yes, grounds I in Lubbock. I went to Tech and lived in Lubbock for years. Wow, so. me as well. So I was there for 10 years. And yes, recently we had the opportunity to expand our services down here to uh, Waco. Mm -hmm. We started in Lubbock 12 years ago this month, actually. We're celebrating our 12-year anniversary. Okay. And let's talk about the services and assistance that you guys offer. Mm -hmm. So transitional housing basically is a structured place for someone to live. They're held accountable. There's all sorts of curriculum that they're working through. There's on-site staff that also live on the property to assist them with their daily life while they're beginning their newfound journey in recovery. But there's a sense of independence too. There is, so that's what we want them to do. We want them to get jobs, get back into school and begin to live that life that they know they want. They know that they can do this and we're giving them a platform to do it on. Absolutely. And it's their own apartment. We talked about this in, at Blastoff and they mm -hmm. pay for it. But it's, that's correct. it's at a discounted rate, so you're not giving them a free place to stay. That's right, so we like to say that they have some skin in the game, right? Mm -hmm. And our housing is definitely different from some of the other programs. We do it in an apartment complex. And so each apartment has the clients housed in there so they have that sense of independence they don't have an authority figure necessarily living in the house with them but they still live on the property to make sure everything's running smoothly you've got an event coming up at the uh, Baylor Club right that's right yes yeah. so November 8th we're hosting our second annual Waco Behavioral Health Symposium we're really looking forward to that yeah what's going going to go on there you got some speakers we have all kinds of speakers coming in, and so um, Dr. Boone with La Hacienda and uh, Brian Sanford with the Arbor, a lot of big heavy hitting speakers are coming in to provide continued education credits for social workers and therapists of all kinds, but this is open to the public as well. There you go. Wow, okay. If someone wants more information, then perhaps they have a loved one or a friend yeah. that's suffering, what, how do they get them involved? Yeah, so you can find us on Facebook or you can check out our website, stagesofrecovery.net. If you're interested in the Waco Behavior Health Symposium, you can go to texasbhs.com. There you go. We appreciate your time today. Yeah, thank you yes, so thank much. you so thank much. You so much. Thank you. Do you like Halloween candy? Yes, I do. All right. Well, I've got Amanda's her top two favorite Halloween candies. We're going to talk about you that. You shouldn't have. I, I did. I bought three pounds. <laughs> give me, give me. Three pounds. Give me, give me. Three pounds. We'll be right back. Stick around. <laughs>